Yes, Gawa. <laughs> In this video, we'll show you how to set the rotary address switch, connect the cables, and troubleshoot the Mechatrolink 2 network when used with the MPIEC series controllers. Mechatrolink 2 is a high-speed, deterministic motion and I.O. network. The controller is factory set to node 0, the servos are set to node 1 through 16, and the network I.O. are nodes 17 through 20. The node address is set with a rotary switch on each device except for the controller. Chain all the devices together with Mechatrolink 2 cables and a termination resistor at each end of the network. Now let's go through an example setup using the MP2300 SIEC controller and two Sigma 5 servos on this demo unit. The first step is to set the node address for each servo pack. Open the cover and set each rotary switch. I have node 1, and node 2. No two nodes may be set the same. The switch is small, so it will be easier to see if you can set this up before the amplifiers in the panel. The small switches control other Mechatrolink functions and are usually set two up and two down. Connect a Mechatrolink cable from a port on the controller to a port on the servo pack and then out the other port to the second servo pack continuing this until all servo packs in your system are connected. It doesn't matter which servo pack is first or which port you use. It is important to leave no port open. Use the W6022 terminating resistor at both open ports. Also, be sure the connectors are fully inserted and locked in by tugging lightly on the connector. The cables may look like ordinary USB cables, but they include a locking mechanism and are wired and shielded differently, so only use the official Mechatrolink 2 cables. You'll notice the controller has two Mechatrolink 2 ports for one Mechatrolink 2 network. I have a termination resistor in one port, but I could just as easily split the network into two branches. Two branch topology can be useful for network organization. For example, remote I.O. connected to one side and servos on the other. You could also segregate devices according to panel location. Splitting up the network into two physical branches can be useful for testing and troubleshooting one half of the network while the other half is disconnected. If you set the servo pack node address to the wrong value or make a mistake in cable connection, the MPIEC controller will return alarm 2301-0008 and perhaps 3409-0002. Machine operations may return cannot servo on, main bus power disconnected. In MotionWorks IEC code, the MC power block will return error ID 4414. MotionWorks IEC hardware configuration will indicate the problem axis with offline in the grayed out axis name. If two devices are set with the same node address, neither will operate. Thanks for watching this video and remember yaskawa.com slash IEC for application notes, videos, firmware updates, and more.